Wow. You ready for another banger? Oh, wow. We're inside someone's time capsule right now. This was preserved in the last moments of this person's life. Boys, it's another video. How y'all feeling? Ecstatic. Excited. Are you uh, recovered after your sleep, Andrew? Man, I've never felt more alive in my life. Okay. Dave, how are you feeling? I'm feeling buzzing, man. I can't wait to get in there. Flex. You love me and houses. Absolutely houses. ecstatic. Ecstatic. I mean, look at this. Oh, oh, he's looking happy. Mo, how are you feeling? I'm feeling excited. I really want to film this place. This is the first spot we've done while you've been with us that you're actually going to film. Yeah, it's the first new spot I actually didn't film. So we don't know what to expect here. I know what to expect and it's gonna be good. Okay. It's like very traditional, you know? Okay, okay. Like very typical Belgian. So do you know any history like on this? Maybe we should. Bucky, how you feel? Thanks. How are you feeling? Tired. Tired you tired? Yeah. Yeah, oh you didn't sleep too well, did you? No, no. You're too fake. Yeah, yeah. Had to get well, a good well, night's sleep tonight. We've hit three out of five of our brothels already. We're gonna be tired, man. And then yeah. plus Ori Pepe. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's not horny Pepe. So it's Hori Pepe. Henri Pepe. Henri Pepe. Oui, oui, oui. oui. Pepe. Ok. Très bien, très bien. Yeah. Henri Pepe. Messi. Henri Pepe. No, no, Messi is footballing for Barcelona. Ok. Oh. So, somebody who's not a native English speaker, does our language sound really harsh to you? Henri Pepe. Henri Pepe. Henri Pepe. Does English sound harsh to you? But if That's pretty annoying. Not being a native English speaker, like how we see German sounding. Do we sound like that kind of? Elucidro. Iconic beaches are toilet again. Alright, watch out for the mort. Watch out for the mort. Oh, there's no underground there. Ori Pempe. Ori Pempe. Ori Mare. It's Ori Mape. Ori Papa. Ori Pepe. Ori Pepe. <laughs> so we're trying, we're trying to pronounce the person who used to live here now. It's, it's really hard, so I'm, I'm, I think I've got it quite well. Ori Pempe, but uh, more laughs us when we say, he says, we sounded like we're saying horny or something like that. Horny Pempe. I don't know how, how you say horny in, in uh, French, but Ori Pempe. Do you want to do it on the Yeah. Quiet down. He says it's quiet now. Yeah, but you never know if someone's in. It does look recent. What's in there? Don't tell me it's a drug farm. We've got a new TV. Watch that. Yeah. That's weird. Wow. You ready for another banger? Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, so this is absolutely full and a gem. Look at that, you've even got the slippers and shoes sat next to the fireplace warming up before he puts them on. Now this is an old very old abandoned farmhouse and like with most elderly people the bed is in the living room probably due to sick health now we have been doing so many houses so many untouched houses it feels like a repeat every time although they're completely different it just feels like it's the same kind of scenario they passed away and no one claimed the stuff. The state didn't claim it, no one claimed it, and it's just been abandoned like a time capsule. Right behind Andrew is his jacket and his hat still hung up like the day he left it. Over here we have some possessions. 
this was probably him here. An old fashioned razor, well shaver. I can't show too much stuff over there because it does have addresses on. Did you see this? What it's year? Like a, a memorandum of him. What year is this? 1964. Yeah. And he loved his cat. He loved his cat. But that vapor Vix rub there looks very, very new. I don't want to know what's been going on in this bed. Well, it's vapor it's Vix. It's Vix. It means he had a cold. Hmm. Maybe. Does anyone speak French and or oh, can read French and can translate this? All you have to do is pause the video and just see if you can translate that. Any kind of indication what that says, please leave a comment below. Much appreciated. Or German. Or it could be Dutch as well, we don't know. It could be Dutch, German or French. Being we are in Belgium. But here he is, the farmer himself, who actually passed away here. Did you fall over, bro? Gorgeous. Just found the secret door. Yeah, I know it's under here. I know about it. Oh, so he's playing football as well. Yeah, I actually want to start my intro there. Whoa, a secret door? Look at that. Secret door. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I know. That's interesting, bro. Yeah. After you. You sure? Yeah. You can I'll lead the way if you want. It's your, your, your location. Yeah, I do. Okay, I'll, I'll follow you. It's your location. Your time to shine, bro. <laughs> yeah. Wow, so you, <laughs> the door is also a staircase. That is very unusual. Oh, the spider webs get low down here. Yeah, you do get low down there. <laughs> Look at them. <sighs> the rats as well. But it is pretty much empty down here, yeah, isn't it? Done. Open them. No, oh, macros. Oh, uh, probably, probably really bad. There's nothing else down here. No, it's Very not. interesting, though. It's cool, that door, isn't it? Yeah, it is cool. Right, so we're gonna close this. Come and put the stairs down so I can come down. <laughs> oh yeah, Bucky's stuck up there because the stairs are open. <laughs> right, yeah. Stairs open. Now, but can come down. <laughs> that's that's I've never seen that before. That's very unusual. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah, it is cool. So, this must have been the living area then. Alright, right, let's go upstairs. Oh, the other thing is, it might have been filmed. Oh, so there's another bedroom here. This must have been his actual original bedroom. What is unusual is there is a scythe right next to the window. There's a strong. Very strong smell of urine in here. The floor feels a bit strange. But look at that, a scythe right next to the bed. Very, very unusual. Here you have some old photographs. Is that the queen king and queen? A very old photograph there. Is very very dodgy in there. In fact, the whole floor here is dodgy. I shouldn't really be walking on it. It's got a very musky smell. It's just a little freaky that scythe being right next to the window. Again, we find ourselves in that situation where it's it's kind of like were inside someone's time capsule right now this was preserved in the last moments of this person's life which brings me to that feeling of depression like the life has just ended and we are in the midst of their last moments in life this was how they were living it's completely untouched you already know this is what we do here in belgium all day every day non-stop untouched houses how are you feeling dave that's amazing how do you how do you Honestly. process this? How do you process this feeling of depression and non-stop abandon? When I first walked in, you know, I just I had a chill at me, you know. Like, it's quite sad. I like to see his little coat and hat. Yeah, near the like, door. There's, there's one yeah. there as well. And stuff. And even his other little jacket sitting on the table, you know, like 
just makes you wonder like what life's about. Yeah. Like, you lose, lose it, everyone around you or something, and you end up lonely on your own. When you die, that's it. If you've got yeah. no family. Exactly, this is what happens. It's actually giving me goosebumps now, standing here, it's quite a... You are. Uh, you definitely, man. you definitely can't take anything to the grave with you, that's no. for sure. That's what I mean, you come naked with nothing, you go with nothing. We do often have these kind of deep conversations in these places because if we don't talk about it, don't talk about it, it builds up inside, it really does. And you actually get to a point where you've been doing this for non-stop five days, like abandoned after abandoned after abandoned, it does take an emotional toll on you. So it's good to talk with your colleagues, it's good to talk with your friends about how you're feeling. Otherwise, yeah, stuff gets messed up in your head. I don't even want to really touch this because of the amount of cobwebs on it, but I've got some cutlery inside there. This would have just been full of knickknacks and whatnot. Another jacket on the chair. There's a lot of jackets. It's not a big place. Yeah. It looks bigger from the outside, weirdly. Yeah, but it's like very little, very cosy, like a little farmer. It's very yeah. traditional. And honestly, I think this represents Gautry, Belgium the most, especially in the 1900s. Yeah, no, I agree, I agree. I'm so happy uh, I got to see it. Yeah, like, yeah, I think all the houses we did today were like slightly different from each other. And every house has its own special futures, you know? No, it's, it's true, it, it really does. <clears throat> and then a demon walks in. Yes, I do. I'm still trying to wake up. It takes me a couple of hours. Right, we are leaving. We're done. It's only a small place because all this here, this obviously is a big empty uh, gatehouse uh, and it was um, a farm here. So you had stables here and they're just completely empty. Um, so yeah, and there's another one here. Completely empty. There's just a few bits inside, nothing much. But um, yeah, I, overall, I really enjoyed that place. Let me know in the comments below, did you enjoy that place? Do you, do you enjoy the houses? What do you prefer? You already know, it's time for questions. Okay, so A, B or C. For the next video, what would you rather see? Because I've, I've done all the videos, but I've got a lot of different things. So I've got some castles left, I've got houses, I've got underground. I've got, yeah, I've got an underground quarry. I've also got the marginal line. What do you want to see next? An abandoned house, an abandoned castle, or underground? A for house, B for castle, C for underground. Leave your comment below now. I'm going to count them, I'm going to reply to as many as possible, and then whatever the most of, I will put that video up next. Underground, house, or a castle. Uh, so whereabouts are we? Where are we now? Maastricht. Ma Maastricht? Yeah, okay. I introduced Steve to my city as well. We even went shopping and I gave him a complete makeover. Really? That's not for the reason why we are here right now, because we are having dinner. And that's something I didn't do with him, so... Really? Okay, we so we're, we're breaking bread together. Yeah. And it actually reminds me of Manchester, the cobble streets. Yeah, like the cobblestones, you see it a lot. Yeah, I like that. Very medieval. Yeah, everywhere in the, in the city you have all these cobblestones and pavements. I like that. Are the original? Oh uh, yeah. And the master also used to have a wall, complete... Uh, among the city, you know? Really? Oh, like, like a in the war forti times. Fortification. Yeah. That's what exactly. they call it. Yeah. Okay, so let's go and eat. That's We're where going you can to. have the best cocktails in Maastricht. Best cocktails, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm on a guided tour. Explomo's guided tour! I know a band at this time. <laughs> I'm a tour guy with a flag. Yeah, okay. Full of beans. Okay, I'll take that. We're actually going for an all you can eat. I think it's tapas, but. I've never had tapas before. Okay, so we're in the restaurant and it's called, what's this place called? La Cubanita. La, La Cubanita. Okay, so and, uh, you order via the phone. So uh, I don't even know what I've ordered. I've just picked some random stuff. That, uh, it's probably you, man. Most of it's good. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm looking forward to it, but I'm definitely ordering that and that next. A pinini and mozzarella sticks in the yard. These ones look really good. Yeah, have you tried these ones? never know. They also have some new things, but I did like this one, the spicy beef. What did you order? What did you order? Spicy chicken. Damn, I think it was. Spicy chicken. Oh, okay, what's that? Chicken with honey. Oh yeah, fried chicken breast with uh, sauce of honey and mustard. Cool. 
Well, the food is going down nicely. The beers are going down nicely. It's well deserved. We filmed four videos today, and it's not over yet. It's not over yet. We have the underground to do yet. We're going to an underground quarry. You already know. So we're filling our stomachs up. We're getting ready. It's gonna be a long night. You might have survived for 24 hours. You never know. So we gotta make sure our stomach is nice and filled because we gotta be prepared for this exploration. Oh, I feel full right now, guys. I'm not even gonna lie. It's been a hard job, harder than any abandoned place I've done eating all this food. I mean, look at look at that. Oh, what's this? No! Too much food. Food I've overload. Had, I've had so much squid. I'm not gonna need to get front of me here. Everyone's just super silent now. Everyone's eating. Everyone's happy. That's it. Bucky's farting. Bucky! Come, I can see you. I can see a crab walking so you can fart. Bro, there's only one thing.